you. JT, we, we, we've got just over 10 minutes left and, right. and, and we haven't even started talking about the Trinity yet. <laughs> um, I, I want to read you one verse because th this is a verse that often uh, gets, especially with Jehovah's Witnesses, get quoted at. And, and you know, and uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. All right. It says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. Now, JT, that <laughs> must be quite clear. There's only one God, and Jesus is a man, therefore he can't be God. Please explain. Okay, and I've only got 10 minutes, Doug, have I? Uh, yeah, well, less than that now. <laughs> um, okay, sometimes Christians give the impression that they simply believe that Jesus is God. The truth is a little different to that. The truth is that not only is he the son of God, meaning that he shares the, the nature and is like his father, but he's also the son of man. Right. Uh, and Christians don't deny that Jesus is a man. It's quite funny sometimes when people say, so you believe that Jesus is God then? Well, well how can he get tired? <laughs> and then Christians say, because he was a man. Yeah. Um, so f the first thing I would say about that verse is that uh, the, the mediatorship of Jesus, the sort of standing in between God yes. and man. Yeah. How great is that? Amen. You know, he, he, is, he isn't half God and half man. He is God. His, his name, God with us, Emmanuel, given at his birth, uh, is his other name, Jesus, Yeshua, the Lord, the Savior, uh, clearly show that that's, that's who he is. But he's also not half man, but fully man. And... Um, it is as a man that he is immediate. He's come down, become one of us. He understands what we like, and he stands before his father now, uh, mediating for us. Now, on the other point about uh, there's one God and there's one man, um, the most usual description, uh, the, the, when, whenever the Bible talks about God, the most usual person it's referring to is the father, usually. But in John chapter 1, verse 1, in John 20, verse 28, in Romans 9, verse 5, Titus 2, verse 13, Hebrews 1, verse 8, 2 Thessalonians 1, verse 1. Um, <laughs> Everybody and, got those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? All of those verses, Jesus is called God as well. Right. So, and, uh, for instance, uh, there are some parts of Scripture where, and it's the big emphasis where Jesus is Lord, but the Father is called Lord sometimes. Now, it doesn't mean to say that Jesus is his Father, but what Christians have come to understand is that when you put together all the Bible, not some, all of the Bible evidence, you're left with a few very basic facts. You're left with the fact that this, the person called the Father is God. Y then Jesus is God. God. The Holy Spirit, and you have to add one extra thing, is a person and God. Yeah. And then there's a final truth. There's only one God. Yeah. Now, whichever way you resolve that problem, all right, you can't say there's lots of gods. That's not an option. You can't say there's a big God and a little God. That's just a bit daft. Mm -hmm. um, so you, somehow, and all a trinity is, is an explanation of all the biblical evidence. So in one sense, you could say, we don't believe in trinity. We believe all that the Bible says. Right. And when we try and explain it, we come because out with trinity. trinity. Right. Right? I, I don't know if viewers can see... Uh, the thing yeah, on the wall here. Behind you, yeah. There's three interlocking circles. Yeah. And there are aspects of the Father which the Son doesn't have. One example is you can't see the Father, but you can see the Son. Mm. The Father uh, is in heaven, the Holy Spirit is now on earth. The Father didn't die on the cross, but God was in Christ uh, when Jesus died. And, and there are aspects where they're different, but they share the same nature. In other words, it's correct, isn't it? I mean, people say the word Trinity isn't in the Bible. That's true. But yeah. it describes a relationship that the Bible talks about. Mm. Isn't it? And, and so that's what you're saying is go to the Word of God and see that the, it's calls the Father God. The Bible calls the, uh, Jesus God. The, the Bible calls the Holy Spirit God. Yeah. Now, that's not something we're making up. That's very clear there. Mm. And therefore, you can only come... To, uh, to, to one conclusion, whether you want to call it a Godhead right. or a Trinity, you've got to see there is a, a glorious mm. relationship between and those three. Can I just slip in, Doug, if you don't Do mind, that, that when 
if people are struggling with that, and they, they might be in a, a religious group now, like the Jehovah's Witnesses or whatever, and they, they find a real problem coming to believe that, they may have doubts about their organisation, sure. but this is a stumbling block. Well, don't start at the Trinity. Amen. For Pete's sake, don't start <laughs> there. Start at what the Bible says about Jesus yeah. and the Father. And do you know, it's amazing. I've been on a number of um, discussion boards uh, with JWs and things, and once the penny drops, once they begin to realise that Jesus is really at the heart of the Christian faith, they begin to give him honour and worship, um, and they they are drawn towards, and they, they can't say Trinity, but they're drawn towards um, a mainstream orthodox understanding, yeah. uh, saying that the Father is God, the Son is God, the Spirit is God. They haven't worked it all out, but if they did work it all out, do you know where they'd end up? Yeah. Something just like the Trinity. Right. <laughs> Now, they may choose. They may choose not to to tidy all the loose ends, but if they did, that's where they would end up. What do you make of this? Um, the the other thing that's thrown at, of, of course, is that the Trinity is a copy of all the old pagan gods. You know that that, that were there before Jesus came onto this earth. Mm. Uh, how do you answer that one? Well, it isn't. You know, there, there were. There are triads of gods in all sorts of religions, and sometimes there are a few triads of gods in a, in one religion. Um, the 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 fact that there is, uh, if you like, the fake, uh, doesn't mitigate against the fact that th there is the truth. Just because there are counterfeit uh, five pound notes circulating doesn't mean to say that the real five pound note doesn't exist. And th if if you anybody who studies how Christians came to understand and use the word Trinity, they will understand that the process was very, very biblical. They wrestled, they wrestled with what the Bible said. And if you look at the, the Christians straight after the Bible, okay, they all, they hadn't worked at all the details, but they, they already were calling Jesus God, they were already worshipping Jesus, and people who are against the Trinity don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so all, all I would say is that Yes, there are assorted pagan trinities, but yes. they bear no relation right. to, to what we're seeing, what the Bible points towards in those four key points that we looked at. Interesting point you made there, though. Don't start there. Don't, uh, no. you know, Because I, I, I remember, you know, as I got onto this, I mean, the night I became a Christian, I wasn't even sure I knew that Jesus was God, <laughs> let alone yeah. that, uh, that, that, that there was a trinity. Indeed. Um, and so it's, it, it, it's, it's coming to know that person of what he's done for us mm. and, uh, and, 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 and how he's done it really, isn't it? That, that, that's the key issue and allowing the rest to follow through. Mm, indeed, indeed. And to quote a, a deeply theological term, someone said that Jesus is the best photograph God ever had taken of himself. Right. And that's not theological. But there is something about that which is so true. And when people, people out there in the world say, what is God like? What would God be like if he was a man? The answer is Jesus. <laughs> hey to the folks. For those people who uh, have doubts about Christianity, all I would say is this. You don't have to commit intellectual suicide to follow Jesus or to believe in him. The facts are there. It makes sense, and uh, if you want to have a, a fresh start in life, no forgiveness of sins, and actually come to know Jesus for yourself, you can. Yeah. It's true. Amen. Bless you, JT, for coming today. Really enjoyed talking to you. I think we'll do it again sometime. All right, okay. We, we've only scratched the surface. Thank you for watching. Thank you for phoning. Thank you for emailing. Uh, have a great, blessed time, and see you later. Bye for now.